I, I actually, I want to throw in a couple of things. I, um, Roger mentioned earlier, he said, well, Jimmy can probably talk about that. Um, I think of many of you as what we call non-traditional students. You're not that person who finished high school and you jump right into college and you finish your four years and, you know, and went away to the world of work and didn't know a whole bunch except what you learned in college. And that was exactly who I was. Um, I told, I don't know if she's in here, but I told one of your uh, peers earlier, I was 40 years old when I earned an associate's degree. Um, I worked all my life since I was 15. Uh, all levels of a whole bunch of organizations. But at about 38 or 40, I finally decided what I wanted to be when I grow up. And um, I laid out that plan on a piece of paper. Here's what I'm going to do and here's how long it's going to take me to get there. Um, I read things like uh, Search of Excellence, How to Dress for Success, uh, Corporate Culture, all those kinds of things that are important if you're going to be successful in the world of work. Um, and well, I reached the top of my profession as a human resources executive uh, right here in my hometown of Gainesville. So it can be done. In fact, I was a student right here back in Santa Fe back in the 70s when it was called Santa Play. And <laughs> some call it Santa Flush. But anyway, um, so, so I've been there and I know it can be done. And it really is about planning, not overloading. I was one of those two courses at a time. I had a family. I had jobs. You know, you have to do it, but you also need to make sure that you have time for yourself so that you don't be all wound up and this becomes a chore. I mean, it's work, but it don't make it be more than work. That's, that, I think that's absolutely key. You've got to make sure that you cut out some time for yourself so you're not all stressed out all the time. Unlike Jimmy, I, I went from high school straight into college. <laughs> Jimmy took a senior trip on the way to a place trip. called Vietnam. Yeah. But I did uh, four years at the University of Florida and then five years in the Army, came back and did graduate school, and I've been teaching at Santa Fe. Today begins my 34th year. Wow. It's, more fun. it's more fun, more rewarding than anything I've ever done. But for 10 years, while I was also teaching here, I taught for Nova Southeastern University, which was a group of non-traditional age students working on a bachelor's degree in business. And we'd meet down at Grant Gainesville High School, or I had a cluster in Crystal River, Ocala, Jacksonville. And working with the older students, to me, it was like teaching graduate school. Yeah. Because they wouldn't put up with any nonsense. That's right. If you started blowing a little smoke at them, they'd call you on it. And I hope you all do that. If you disagree with anything I say, let's talk about it. Let's put it out there. So my experience in terms of management, uh, I went in the Army as a 21-year-old second lieutenant. They put me in charge of about 15, 16 other soldiers and five tanks and said, here you go, take care of it. Did what? And I had to rely on my senior leaders, my non-commissioned officers, who are truly the backbone of the Army, men like Jimmy, who managed to get me through it alive and teach me a hell of a lot on, along the way. But we're going to be coming to these issues with different perspectives, and I hope you'll kind of make us both talk about, well, what, is, what does it look like from over there? What about from over there? Okay, let's, let's talk about it. Just a, a quick aside. I'm, my background is human resources. I'm a, I actually have two graduate degrees in uh, human resources. One in human resource management, one in human resources development. Um, because I love people. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, the courses I absolutely, absolutely hated were Economics, <laughs> um, because to me, don't, don't, you know, there are relationship types of things, and there are task types of things. So I think we're going to work really well together because I'm all about the relationship. Well, I mean, I'm about the task as well, and Roger's all about the task. But I'm, you can see, he's about the relationship as well. But but it takes both, and it takes a balance of both, and uh, you're going to find that. As you go through this course, I was telling Roger earlier, 
I said, man, I could have put this together myself. It's exactly the kinds of things that I believe a manager needs to be, particularly someone who um, um, is going to be a frontline manager, so to speak. So, again, I'm confident you're going to be uh, happy with the tasks that we lay out for you, the competencies, and, and, and you're going to learn a lot from the written assignment. Okay. Uh, we're going to meet in two weeks. Uh, you're going to come to class with anything you want to talk about. Let me ask you, whatever the reading assignments are, the chapters that you're supposed to have read by them, take, a, take at least a you know, drift through them and see if there's some topics you want to talk about. Uh, take a look at the assignments in the modules, and, and if there's anything that's not clear, let us know. And it's, it's, it's very much an open forum, but if you don't have a lot to say, we can stand up here and give you situations, examples, anecdotes, stories, lies, <laughs> all night long. Okay? Yes, sir. For, I guess there aren't that many, mi mi that many military people in here. Uh, we need to be signed up for our GI Bill kind of thing. What can we do to just email you? Mm, not understanding the question. Um, I'm not going to get paid if, if I don't get signed up for the class and that you say that I'm here. Okay. You, if you read the... Uh, I read it, but I, I didn't really course, follow it. And you read the, uh, somewhere in there anyway, there's a, a sense of send me an email, or send us, either this. one of us, an email that says you're in the course. It, there's an announcement first thing. On the it's page. the announcement. Yeah. There you go. Says, and then we will go to the Santa Fe st system and check you as being attended. Okay. Good. understand that. Okay. Anything else? I've noticed people have been posting right on that bulletin. Will you check that as an email? Mm -hmm. Say that again. Uh, people have been posting replies on that bulletin. Right. On the discussion board? Yeah. yeah. The yeah. Send, us, send, right. send me an email. Send me an email. That that's, was, I guess, more my question. So don't post it on the announcement. That's reply to the announcement. Actually. Because, don't reply yeah, I've got other classes, too, and it's There's the about same thing. replies to the announcement. Well, thank you. I haven't even looked at the announcement, so I'll go do that. Yeah, yeah. Right under your Thanks, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anything else? Yes, ma'am? I got it. Okay, so that's that yes, count? but in future, be sure you use the Canvas yeah. email. But yeah, we'll, we'll make it. Good. Anything else? If you run into any difficulties, any concerns, you let us know. Don't let a situation become a problem, and don't let a problem become a crisis. We're here and we're on your side despite everything we say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Thank you, Thank you sir. Thank you.